Welcome everybody. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of each of Lightroom's output modules. Now, one of the beautiful things about Lightroom is that not only do you have a professional level set of tools for organizing your photos and fixing and enhancing your photos, but you can also create high quality output right within the same program. So no need to export copies of your photos and then open up another program to build these various types of output. Now I'm starting here in the book module, which is brand new in Lightroom 4. Now even though it's new in Lightroom 4, there's already a tremendous amount of great functionality in here. Now at this point, the book module is first and foremost for designing and ordering Blurb books. Blurb is a high quality photo book publisher that Adobe has partnered with on this project. They have a great reputation in the industry and you can actually design your books here in Lightroom and then hit the send book to blur button to upload it onto their website and place your order. You can also, however, create PDFs and JPEGs of your book designs. So for example, if you want to work with another book manufacturer, if they accept PDFs and if they work with the sizes that are built into Lightroom, then you can actually send these designs to another publisher. Now, of course, you can also share PDFs and JPEGs in many other ways. You can email them to people, you can print them out yourself, you can download them to your mobile devices, etc. So I definitely see opportunities for people here, even if you're not interested in creating physical books. Sometimes I use the book module just to design a single page JPEG because I love all of the page format options in here that allow me to combine photos and text and format it really nicely. Now I'm going to scroll down through here just to give you the tip of the iceberg on what it can do. I've designed a sample book in here. So you can see I've designed my cover here and there are lots and lots of design choices. This is just a particular one. I decided to have a text page in the beginning with an introduction and then I'm just showing you here a few of the dozens of page layouts for photos. And of course I could put things on the left hand side as well. So full page photo, multiple photos on a page, two page spreads, photos with text, different background colors, graphics in the background, photographs in the background, etc., etc. So there's a ton of functionality in here. Let's go ahead and go to the slideshow module. So the slideshow module allows me to design slideshows that I either play here in Lightroom or that I export to PDF or to MP4 video. Now if someone's going to sit down with me here at my computer, I could go ahead and play this here in Lightroom and it would play full screen on my monitor. That would work well also if my computer is hooked up to a digital projector. Now of course exporting to PDF and video allow me to share my slideshows outside of Lightroom. Now let me just go ahead and select a few photos here and collapse all my panels by doing shift tab and just I'll preview the slideshow here within Lightroom. Now if I played it full screen, you wouldn't see any of the Lightroom information around the slideshow, but it's hard for me to show you that because it goes outside of my video capture. So I'll just preview it instead by clicking on the play button. Now you can see I've set up a title slide and then I've got my photo slides and I've set how long they're going to play. I want this to play quickly, of course. And then I have an ending slide. And of course I can change background colors, text, fonts, etc. So there's a, a lot of functionality that we'll get into. And I'll stop the slideshow and do shift tab again to get my panels back. So that's a quick look at the slideshow module. Let's go to the print module. So the print module allows me to design layouts for my photos and then either print them using my own printer or print them to JPEGs so that I can have someone else print them or download them to my mobile devices, email them to people, share them on Facebook, etc. So if you don't have your own printer or you're not doing your own printing, I would still encourage you to watch the print videos because you can create some really nice layouts. I'll just show you a few examples here. I've created a contact sheet and of course I have full control over whether there's text showing and how big these are and background colors and lots of things. I can of course create single photo layouts. I can also create what are called picture packages. 
Picture packages allow me to print multiple copies of the same photo or groups of photos at different sizes if I want. So the classic example is the portrait photographer whose client wants an 8x10, 2x5x7s, 3x4x6s, etc. Picture package will allow you to create those very efficiently. Then we have Lightroom's custom print functionality, which I think is the coolest. And this allows you to freeform layout photos on a page. So I can add more photos, I can click and drag to move photos, etc. This is just one little example. Here's another example of a custom layout where I've actually used three copies of the same photo so that I could spread this photo out into three different frames. Of course, I can add text to my layouts and do much more. Let's take a look at the last output module, which is the web module. So the web module allows me to create web galleries that I would upload to my website and either provide a link to on my main website or just send people a link by email if I want them to remain private. Let me show you an example of one that I uploaded a few years ago for my family. So I sent them this link, laurashu.com slash beach. And I've got this web gallery here that allows people to move through the photos. I can play a slideshow, etc. Now taking advantage of Lightroom's web gallery functionality for building and uploading those websites does require that you either have a website that you can upload these files to or space somewhere on a web server. Now a lot of people don't realize that many internet service providers provide their customers with some web space to create a personal website. And I talk more in the web module videos about what questions to ask your internet service provider to see if you'll be able to use them to upload these web galleries to. Okay, let me just show you a few examples here. I'll go ahead and click on my first sample, shift tab, and you can see that you can create galleries that cycle through like this. Or let me just show you a, just a couple more of the examples. This one's called Simple Viewer, so you can have thumbnails and larger photos. And the last one I'll show you, you can have thumbnails on your front page, and then they can click through to get to larger photos and cycle through them or go back to the thumbnail view, etc. So these are very easy to create here in Lightroom, and you can also upload them directly to your website or web space. Now the last thing I want to mention are shortcuts to get to the output modules. Now frankly, I don't find them particularly useful or quick, but perhaps you'll feel differently. Now I love the fact that to get to the library module, I can type G for grid, and I can type D for develop. But beyond these two modules, it gets more complicated. We have to use the combination of Control Alt on the PC or Command Option on the Mac and a number from 1 to 7 to indicate the module. So, for example, to get to the slideshow module, which is the fifth module here, I could do Control Alt or Command Option 5 to jump to that module. Okay, so this concludes the overview of Lightroom's output modules.